There's help available for people caring for loved ones. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares how to find resources you might not know are available. From social workers for counseling to services that keep loved ones safe with memory loss. What this team of those assisting caregivers in our community want us to know is sooner or later, all of us end up caring for others. Caregiver burnout is the, num the leading reason people get placed in nursing home facilities. And if you don't take care of you, you can't take care of someone else. It comes from way back. A um, lot of women, especially when they become mothers, stop taking care of themselves. At that time, they cared. That we use different words. That, at that time, we call them parents. This time, we call them caregivers. Dr. Anisha Singh with Dedicated Senior Medical Center says along with dozens who attended our Local 12 Council on Aging Caring for the Caregiver Town Hall, she too is a caregiver. Even I have now become a caregiver for my parents. So here's what this team wants you to know. If you are a caregiver, there are services that will help you with everything from house cleaning to transportation. In the car culture that we live in today, it's very easy to take for granted the fact that you can get yourself where you need to go. Pat LaFleur says if it's time for a loved one to give up the keys, some metro services now invite you to ride free with a loved one as a caretaker. While our operators are not trained in any sort of technical caregiving, they are certainly frontline workers who are there because they care about their community and they want to make sure that people get where they need to go and get there safely. If you missed today and need help, you can call the Council on Aging and ask for assistance with just about any area of caregiving. It can be specific questions like how to transfer somebody, um, how to clip nails in addition to, you know, how do I um, do all of this by myself? Number to call to get connected to these resources, 513-721-1025. In Blue Ash, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News.